All right, guys, we've got a 2003 American Iron Horse Texas Chopper Softail motorcycle for sale. This bike currently has 21,281 very well cared for miles. Now this particular bike is equipped with the dark green metallic base paint job. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now in 2003, American Iron Horse equipped these bikes with the extremely powerful 1,762 cc 107 cubic inch SNS V twin motor. You've got a six speed transmission. And then you've got polished billet wheels. They definitely didn't spare any expenses when they uh, built this motorcycle. Now up front, you've got a 21 inch rim. In the rear, you've got an 18 inch rim with a gigantic 240 millimeter tire. Definitely gives the bike that classic chopper look. Now on the Texas chopper, they also equip the uh, front axle and front uh, fork with a dual disc brake. So you actually got three disc brakes on the bike, which helps uh, for stopping the motorcycle. Definitely a nice thing to have. Now the bike does have a couple of additions that we'd like to go through and show you. First off, you've got the rear passenger pegs. It's gonna allow you to uh, either use a pillion pad, a suction cup seat for that rear fender. Um, I also believe they manufacture a two up seat for these motorcycles. Uh, so that way you can uh, facilitate a passenger. You've got the Martin Brother custom exhaust system almost like a, a drag pipe, so you've got a great sound, and they also look phenomenal. You've got the uh, custom air intake. You have the custom tribal mirrors. Gives the bike a little bit more flair and makes it a little bit more unique. As mentioned before, you've got that dual front disc brake. Another addition this bike has is it has been converted over to a chain drive versus a belt drive. Uh, these bikes did uh, come from the factory with a belt drive. the bike a little bit more uh, nostalgic look and uh, also handles really well. Now the bike is a 2003 and does have 21,000 miles uh, so you're gonna have a little bit of wear and tear uh, but overall, the bike is in really good condition for the year and mileage. I'm going to rate the bike at a 9 out of a 10. Um, you know, as mentioned before, you've got uh, a little bit of wear and tear. You've got some cosmetic blemishes, uh, so on and so forth. So we'll go through and do some close-ups just so you know what you're getting. And uh, we'll start from the, the back of the bike. You've got that rear uh, Dunlop tire. That um, still has the knobs on it. It's, it's fairly new. And so I'm gonna deem that the tire has 90% of tread remaining. It's definitely in great shape. You can 
can see the little uh, knobs here uh, from being new. Uh, so it hasn't had a lot of use. You can see that the, the wear bars are, are barely even uh, touched and uh, the tire's in great shape. Now you've got that rear uh, fender uh, that's been customized. Um, it has been cut uh, to give it more of a, a shape done is it has caused some uh, paint cracking in the clear coat and so we'll, we'll try to get close but you can see right there you've got some stretch uh, fractures there nothing crazy but I definitely want to point out as much as possible just so you know exactly what you're getting <laughs> rear fender has a, a few little uh, surf scratches and nicks uh, you've got a little uh, blemish there a little scuff I'm trying to zoom in and, and get the, the best clarity here that we can. But overall, not, not in terrible shape. And it is, again, it is a, a 2003, uh, so you're gonna have, have some wear and tear. Uh, the polish built on the bike is in great shape. Um, you may have a few uh, minor cosmetic blemishes throughout the, the polish billet, but nothing crazy. I did just have the motorcycle professionally detailed. Uh, my detailer spends a lot of time uh, going over these bikes, uh, cutting and buffing the, uh, the polish billet and uh, polishing the whole motorcycle. He does a phenomenal job. So that's been done. Um, he, he does charge you know, quite a bit to do that. I just want to make sure my clients are happy, so that's why I have it done. So hopefully you get a better idea the condition of the polish bolt and uh, the rest of the motorcycle. You've got that rear swing arm. You're gonna have a little bit of uh, scuffing there. Nothing crazy, but you do you do have some blemishing on the swing arm that I want you to be aware of. You can see down here you've got a little bit of blemishing. Um, that's where the uh, stock and factory exhaust mount goes. Big dot or the uh, American Iron Horse uh, solo seat is in great shape. No major uh, blemishes to point out there. You may have a, a little mark right there. That may even come off. I just need to uh, mess with it a little bit more and see if that will come off but um, it, again the bike is a 2003 so you're gonna have uh, a little bit of wear and tear now it looks like you've got a little bit of uh, compound there but you've got a little bit of scuffing there on the uh, electrical cover the uh, Martin Brothers exhaust system uh, looks great. Uh, it does have some cosmetic blemishing just from uh, being used over the years. So hopefully you get a better idea of the condition there. The uh, gas tank, you've got that long stretched American Iron Horse Texas uh, chopper gas tank. One of my favorite aspects of the motorcycle very unique and uh, different from the uh, other semi-custom motorcycles or choppers out on the market. Um, overall the tanks in good shape you, you're gonna have some a uh, little bit of uh, surf scratching here and there but nothing crazy no major blemishes to point out. side of the gas tank. Looks like you've got a little mark right there. Rocker box covers are in good shape. No uh, major blemishes to point out, maybe with the exception of some uh, surf scratches just from the bike being dusted off through the course of its life. It uh, doesn't appear to have any uh, moisture or rust marks in the uh, bolt heads. 
maybe a little bit probably from being washed and uh, having a little bit of moisture left in there but don't think the bike has spent a lot of uh, time in the inclement weather um, has always been in the garage uh, by the previous owner the previous owner owned it uh, owned the motorcycle the majority of its life I believe he bought it when it was one or two years old got the engine jugs that are uh, in good shape uh, my detailer went through and tried to polish those up as as best that he could you've got the uh, rear passenger pegs all the rubber bands are there a lot of the time on these uh, American Iron Horse bikes uh, those will be missing uh, they still feel pretty tight and uh, I don't think those uh, rear passenger pegs have gotten a lot of use so that's definitely good we've got the front brake peg and foot peg rubber bands are all there too a little bit more wear and tear uh, but overall they look pretty tight and are all there so it's definitely definitely a nice thing to have now underneath of the frame um, does have some scrapes I'm gonna try to get up underneath there to uh, get a better vantage point uh, all these semi custom bikes sit really low to the ground so it's almost impossible to prevent them from scraping at some time and point and so I'm uh, selling the bike uh, deeming that the uh, bottom of the frame does have some uh, scrapes so hopefully you can get a better uh, vantage point there so Handlebars, hand grips are in uh, good shape. You've got all the rubber bands there. Those are uh, looking like they've got a little bit more uh, wear on them, but they all feel pretty tight and uh, or there. So that's uh, again is a is a plus. You've got that custom mirror. It's in fair shape. You're gonna have a little bit of wear and tear uh, just from the age. Uh, the speedometer functions uh, properly. One thing I will note is the. Uh, tachometer seems to be a little bit off and uh, I was told that um, I believe a ignition or something was swapped out and that's when that changed uh, the tachometer a little bit so it's going to be reading off a little bit more it's going to be reading higher than uh, where the motor is currently at kind of thing so I uh, just want to uh, mention that make sure you're aware of that <laughs> right side uh, hand grip and hand controls are in good shape. Got some scuffing right there on the gas tank, I'm assuming from the, uh, the cables on the uh, handlebars. Down tubes of the frame uh, appear to be in uh, fair shape. You're gonna have a little bit of wear and tear just from uh, being used over the course of the bike's life. Try to zoom in and uh, focus here. So you're gonna have a few minor uh, pin-tipped rock chips. Uh, looks like you've got um, some blemishing here. That's approximately, I'd say, I'd say you're about one and a half to two inches long. Looks like you've got a scuff there on the down tube. go up and down here just so you're aware of what you're getting <laughs> but overall I mean it, it's a it's a nice bike uh, front of the hand controls in fair shape headlight uh, appears to be in fair shape you might have some uh, minor surf scratches just from being uh, dust it off through the course of the bike's life. The uh, front turn signals have been uh, taken off and uh, just for aesthetic reasons and uh, just want you to be aware that there are no front turn signals. You've got a little bit of uh, oxidation on that lens, nothing crazy but a little bit just so you're aware of that as well. Triple trees and forks to be in uh, good shape. You're 
gonna have a little bit of wear and tear, uh, a little bit of uh, minor, minor rock chips from debris coming up while the bike's being uh, ridden over the course of its life. You've got that back edge of the front fender. You've got some blemishing on that edge. Uh, just common to get some debris coming up and hitting that. Uh, right side of the front wheel the polish belt is in a uh, decent shape again the bike was just professionally detailed so all of the polish belt was a uh, uh, polished you may have a few minor uh, blemishes on the polish belt just from the age of the motorcycle you've got that front uh, Metzeler tire um, it appears to be in decent shape. I'm going to say you have approximately 35% of tread remaining, but you do have a little bit of a weather check or weather cracking in between uh, the rubber. And um, so it's just up to you whether, whether uh, you'd like that replaced down the road or not. Front fender on top appears to be in a decent shape. You may have a little bit of blemishing. Looks like you may have a little bit of a scuff mark right there. The uh, polish belt on the left side of the front wheel is in fair shape. Uh, you may have a little bit of blemishing, uh, but overall in good shape. Uh, again, the, the bike was professionally detailed, so all of the uh, polish belt was polished. Uh, the brake rotors on the front, you're going to have probably a little bit of uh, oxidation uh, just from the age and a little bit of blemishing, but nothing crazy. Hand controls on the uh, front left side appear to be in fair shape. You may have a little bit of uh, blemishing on the front side of that mirror just from debris hitting it. Let's see if I can get you a better viewpoint of that scuff on the frame there. shift peg and the uh, foot peg there. Rubber bands are all there. You've got a little bit of a, uh, of a chunk missing there. Um, again, pretty, pretty rare to actually have them all there. A lot of the time, uh, those have loosened up and are missing on a, a lot of the uh, American Iron Horse uh, choppers that I've sold uh, before. So the uh, left side of the gas tank, you do have a ding right here. I don't know if you can see that very well because of the lighting. I'm gonna say you're about an inch in diameter. You know, it looks just like a, a big door ding a little bit. And so trying to get you a better uh, viewpoint there, just so you're aware of what you're getting. So you can see it right, right about there. So other than that, I mean, You've got a few uh, minor blemishes on the gas tank, but overall it's in, in pretty decent shape. Rocker box covers, uh, ignition cover on this side appear to be in a good shape as well. Ignition cover, engine jugs all look pretty good. Got the primary drive and a uh, transmission uh, all look to be in good shape over here. You might have some light uh, surf scratches, but no major blemishes to point out. Let's see if we can get underneath the frame there. Got that rear uh, swing arm. You're going to have a little bit of a uh, blemishing there. 
Looks like some debris has come up and, and scratched that a little bit. We've got the license plate bracket. Appears to be in uh, fair shape. Solo seat uh, viewpoint from the side looks pretty decent. Rear fender. We got the polish belt and a chain drive on the uh, left rear side. All appears to be in a uh, decent shape. You might have a little bit of blemishing on the polish belt just from the age of the motorcycle. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of the condition of the bike. Try to be as thorough as possible uh, when uh, representing and selling these motorcycles. So. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up for you.
you have it, definitely shows the motorcycle runs extremely well. Rides even better. This bike is very, very comfortable to ride. Uh, everything functions as it should. Uh, it is just a really nice uh, motorcycle overall. Now, if you do have any other questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, contact me. Uh, you can reach me on my direct cell phone, which is 801-564-0629. Again, that's 801-564-0629. Uh, another great way to uh, contact me regarding questions or concerns is to uh, comment on the YouTube video, and I'll uh, be sure to get back to you. Uh, you can also email me directly. Um, I'd, I'd suggest that you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, that way you can uh, uh, be uh, alerted whenever we have some new uh, inventory uh, come up. We always upload those videos to uh, YouTube. Um, I'd also suggest looking at the listing description through YouTube. That's going to give you more information regarding the motorcycle, uh, mileage, uh, all the additions, uh, blemishes, uh, so on and so forth. Also the asking price. Uh, so that's a great area to uh, look for information. Um, I'd also suggest hopping over to our direct website. Uh, we try to uh, keep that updated uh, as much as possible. We do have a lot of motorcycles coming in and out, uh, but that website address is www.utahchopper.com. Again, that's www.utahchopper.com. I most definitely appreciate your time and uh, also look forward to the possibility of working with you. Thank you so much.